Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com and Miss Melinda.com, here to bring you our new moon reading for the new moon in Aries happening on Sunday, April 11th at 8 32 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. Using the Morgan Greer deck today, and gaining the guidance, messages, and insights that will assist us with best traversing the energies of this new moon in Aries taking place on Sunday, April 11th. What are the messages, what is the guidance that will assist us in most successfully traversing the energies of this Aries new moon in April 2021? I can already see that the energy is going to be a little bit chaotic. There may be a lot going on. We may feel at that time that there are uh, many things flying in our direction, many things to traverse or many decisions to make, um, many small challenges to overcome and or many small and interesting new things kind of flying at us. The energy is going to be a little bit chaotic. I can tell that because of the way that my cards are acting as I am shuffling. And so it's going to be really best for us heading into this new moon energy to practice our grounding techniques or to be sure that we are just coming at things from a very relaxed and balanced perspective. Um, some ways that you can do that is by resting up beforehand, making sure that you've been getting enough rest, enough sleep, and so forth. Um, perhaps spending some time in nature to allow yourself to have that grounding energy or perhaps practicing some grounding techniques with energy work or with meditation. Whatever the case may be, you want to come into this Aries new moon, grounded, balanced, centered, calm, rested. Okay, what is the guidance? What are the messages that we need that will assist us with most successfully traversing this Aries new moon energy? I've got our first card, finally. It is the King of Cups. The King of Cups. This is about mature emotions. So we are going to want to make sure that around this time, we approach anything needed with a mature emotional response or from a mature emotional perspective. Going back to what we talked about regarding um, grounding, you're going to be want to, wanting to come at things from a very um, well-balanced and centered perspective. Um, so this means not allowing our emotions to get the better of us. Um, just like in mindfulness practices, um, when we talk about paying attention to our uh, thoughts and choosing which thoughts we want to give further attention to or attach further energy to or attach further analysis to, we can do the same with our emotions. We can begin to recognize when an emotional response is not necessarily healthy or not necessarily beneficial for us or not necessarily good at the time. This is not the same as bypassing. This is about recognizing when we're having an unhealthy or uh, an unhealthy emotional response or we are perhaps overreacting emotionally or perhaps our emotional response is um, really about being triggered by something in our past rather than about what's actually happening right in front of us. So our next card is here. This is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is about spending time with our community celebrating, enjoying harmony and unity together, um, making sure that we carve out the time to spend with those people in those relationships that are really most important to us. This is going to be a good month for emotional connection. It's going to be a good month for our intuitive connection as well, our connection to our own intuition and our own spirituality as well as a great time to celebrate with our communities, with our loved ones, with our friends and family, those that are nearest and dearest to our hearts, and an excellent time for experiencing strong emotional connection 
with our loved ones. So if we have some relationships that need a little extra TLC, um, some relationships that we want to kind of revitalize a bit, or perhaps there is some onset, um, on, there, there are some unspoken um, things within our relationships. This is a good time to attend to those emotional topics that perhaps we've shelved for a later date. This is a good time to tie up those loose ends, to speak from our hearts, to speak honestly, and to use our intuition to navigate those relationships. And this reading is brought to you by my patrons via Mystic Membership. They receive the new moon reading one week early every month. If you would like more information about Mystic Membership or if you would like to receive these new moon forecasts in advance, you can click the link below the video and check out Mystic Membership. Feel free to message me to email or to comment below if you have any questions about Mystic Membership. What is our next card for best traversing the energies of our Aries new moon? And the cards are still kind of all over the place. There is still, um, they are still showing me that there's a little bit of uh, chaotic energy Okay, what's our next card? <laughs> okay, we've got the Justice card. So this is about balance. This is about balance and it's interesting because it's also about balance in, in our relationships as well as the balance within ourselves as well as balance in the outer world. So looking at what we're seeing so far with this King of Cups and this Three of Cups, there's a lot of emotional content coming up. And with the Justice card here, we can say that we're going to be receiving what is due to us within our relationships. In other words, if you've had a relationship that is out of balance, where you haven't really been receiving what you've been putting into it, this is a good time for that balance to be readjusted. And this may happen naturally because this is an energy that's going to be naturally surrounding this new moon. So you can expect some relationships to gain more balance, to level out. You can expect some emotional situations to gain more balance, to level out. If you have been feeling um, overly emotional or you've been having some trouble with your emotions, this Aries new moon is going to be a good time to look deeper at that issue, but also it's going to be a great time for you to be energetically and spiritually supported in balancing out and smoothing out that energy. Perhaps that means that a healing um, energy will come to you in terms of having some inner recognition of what's causing the emotional balance or in terms of something shifting in your outer world so that you can kind of get some space or get some more peace, whatever the case may be, this is going to be a good time to balance out those energies, but also a good time for you to pay attention to what's going on in your interpersonal relationships in terms of the balance there and to be sure that you are not giving too much of yourself in situations that aren't really giving back to you. So pay attention to um, situations where you end up feeling drained or people who you feel are taking too much away from you. This is a good time for you to assess those situations and perhaps to take some action surrounding those situations, strengthen your boundaries, change the dynamics of the relationship. Our last card here, and it is the Chariot card. And this is a really lovely follow-up to the Justice card and to the things we were just speaking on because the Chariot card reminds you to stay true to yourself, stay true to your own path. The Chariot card says that sometimes there are forces around us, i.e. people, circumstances, jobs, projects, you know, things that come up in life that can be pulling us in opposite directions, pulling us every which way and causing us to become distracted from what our real goals are, what our real needs are, and become distracted or, or lose focus on where it is that we're headed on our path. 
So this is a good time through reassessing that balance, reassessing those relationships, maybe tying up some loose emotional ends within some relationships, assessing your own emotional responses within your relationships and within your interpersonal dealings through all of these kinds of endeavors and contemplations and reflections and the guidance that you may receive surrounding these things, you're going to be redirected to getting back on track with your own path, your own focus, your own vision, really pulling yourself back to center and realigning with where it is that you're headed. In other words, your priorities your needs, those things that fulfill you, those things that fill up your cup, those things that are allowing you to express what it is you want to express here on this earth, to do what it is that you love, to bring forth your unique gifts, your unique presence into the world, to be your most authentic self, and to um, lead a life that's going to allow you fulfillment and joy and happiness. So really good messages here for realigning with your purpose and your personal fulfillment during this Aries new moon. Be blessed and be well.